Hey guys, welcome back to another Draw With Me episode. This one is very special because it's a baking edition Draw With Me episode with my boyfriend, Steven. We're gonna be making some pumpkin flavored snickerdoodles as I work on a new illustration to welcome in the spooky fall season, as well as a huge fall shop update. That's right. Right now on my shop, there are new fall themed stickers, new prints of my favorite pieces, especially of the highly requested cowboy painting. Another free Procreate brush. I call it my dying pen because of the slight texture and opacity reminiscent of an old pen running out of ink. And now I have membership tiers over on my Ko-Fi, including a sticker club with an exclusive cowboy sticker for the month of September. Other tiers include early access to art, exclusive artwork that I won't be posting anywhere else of Strawberry Saw, Blu-ray Bell, and other character art, more of my art process, social media mentions at the end of videos, uh, voting on video topics, members only discounts to my shop, and so much more. So make sure to head to my Ko-Fi link down below and check things out. Thank you so much to everyone who has supported my shop and my art this year. This is definitely my favorite update by far and I hope you guys really like it too. Now on to the drawing and baking. Okay, pumpkin snickerdoodle cookie. We got it this We time. have everything. This time. This time around. All right, we start with medium sized mixing bowl with together the flour, pumpkin pie spice, cinnamon, baking soda, cream of tartar, and salt until well combined. So all the dry ingredients. So yeah, basically all the dry ingredients. Whip. Gonna show the class. <laughs> All our flour. Right. Not copious <laughs> amounts of cookies. So the first time we made these, we forgot. What did we forget? Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin pie spice. But We're this time, it. yeah, this time we will not forget. But we technically already forgot one thing: unsalted butter. But that is fixed now. Step one: complete. Brown sugar. sugar. And then we mix it together until well combined. And then we add the egg yolk, a vanilla extract and then the pumpkin puree, so. Oh. Spoon the butter. Te pro technique right here. I'm actually a world-class baker. <laughs> oh, you're just like that. <laughs> or mm. snickerdoodle, yes. <laughs> Mission accomplished it. There's literally no pumpkin in it. That would just be- It's just butter. That would be sugar. how our last ones tasted. Honestly? Because the last ones didn't have any of the spice or pretty much no pumpkin. This wouldn't taste bad. What do you mean it wouldn't taste bad? <laughs> straight up butter. You know what? You're right. Butter and That's sugar. just southern cooking. It's, it's, That's just <laughs> butter and sugar. Yeah. Mm. Put that in my front pit. On the southern oh, roll. Oh. But no, like, it's the concept of like fat and sugar. Delicious. Spoon me. <laughs> okay. Emergency spoon needs it. <laughs> I need to be calm right now. <laughs> Everyone, cover your ears. Can you separate a yolk? No pressure. Maybe. Hi, guys. <laughs> Yo. Yo, okay. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I gotta take a look. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And then we add the actual pumpkin. We, and I'm gonna get a spatula. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pumpkin is in. Maybe this time it will taste like pumpkin. Yes. <laughs> It'll taste like the spirit of autumn. The spirit of autumn. We're filming this in August. <laughs> it autumn made you in August. Yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Looking good. Mmm, smells good. Okay. It does. <clears throat> oh, we need to preheat the oven. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> 350. In retrospect. Now this, like, uh, you could probably just eat this. This is a, this is a oh, it gives us just yolk, yeah. Not the white. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's yeah. a Pinterest. Yeah, like, fall yeah. Look cooking. at that red layer. Oh, we have to cover tightly and refrigerate for 30 minutes. Well, see so, you guys later. Hold on, we have to add the dry ingredients first. Oh, we did. We were like, yep, this is yeah, what we yeah, need. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's a little important. Go ahead. If you added okay. all of them. See, now it's more like a dough dough. Yes, like, this makes sense for like cookies. Cookie dough, you know? The technique, the form. I learned this from Paul Hollywood. <gasps> I was gonna say sommelier of snickerdoodles, but that's for wine. Oh, it's true check. Dutch angle. Dutch angle. Okay. Um, Sneezer doodle. Weezer doodle. <gasps> If only they were blue. That was scary. Parry, parry, thrust. It's yummy because it's just butter and sugar. <laughs> I let myself stay at risk for salmonella. That's important. character development right there. That's bacterial development in my <laughs> stomach. So it's okay that I'm eating moldy bread. I'm just starting a community in my stomach. Exactly. When he's healthy, when he starts you communities in his when, stomach. When you start a Discord server for your bacteria, your stomach bacteria. Hello, my fellow stomach bacteria. <laughs> dinoflagellates? Yes, about? The, the bioluminescent ones. That actually would be a great fan. I would love to be a dinoflagellate. My little dinoflagellates. Okay, here's the dough. We did it. We didn't forget anything. This looks like Hold I on. just... 
I need more support. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and back support. Man, I love single use plastic. I love contributing to the climate crisis. <laughs> no, the dinoflagellates. It's like pink tinted. Yes, <laughs> on brand. Yeah. Okay, let's get this one. Now we can make the cinnamon sugar for the coating. I used to make them in high school. Not everyone knew what a snickerdoodle was. And then I made them and everyone was just like, wow, amazing. And I'm like, you're welcome. Yeah, I'm making snickerdoodles. Like, that doesn't sound like a real item. It's because the flavor is on the Okay. <laughs> Traditionally, it doesn't have pumpkin. Oh, okay, just a plain snickerdoodle. Yeah, we're doing pumpkin snickerdoodle because it's the fall. It's yeah. about to be the fall. <laughs> Not for Shh, us. Don't tell them. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? Um, the coating. Yeah. Cinnamon challenge. I measure with my heart. I was about to say I measure with my mouth, like as if I would <laughs> take, do the cinnamon challenge and then like, yeah. you can't, you cinnamon, can't go wrong. <laughs> cinnamon is in my heart all year round. All right, see you guys in a bit. So with October quickly approaching, I've been thinking and considering what art challenge I want to do. Last year I did Sketchtober, but I kind of really want to push myself a little more and commit to making more fully realized art. This illustration that I'm working on is sort of an exploration of that idea through a specific color palette. But I also want to focus on pushing my ability to see objects and forms in perspective. As I said in the last couple of videos, I've been working on an anatomy video involving a lot of self-critique and rediscovering old channels that help me learn fundamental art ideas. That video should be coming out next week, I think. I know I've been mentioning it for forever, but it's finally coming out. And as I've been reflecting on my skills as an illustrator and painter, I think I really want to focus on relearning and delving deeper into perspective and really trying to describe form and depth through my art. I feel like my art has been been kind of too flat or not as like solid and dimensional as they could be so maybe the month of October I could focus on perspective and form and color palette could be like a secondary or an add-on feature especially if I were to completely do it in digital because gradient maps are a lifesaver and that's what I've used for this piece that I'm showing now on screen I plan this piece out first in black and white then you put the local colors down on top of the grayscale and then and just slapped a gradient map layer on top uh, based on a color palette I found and adjusting the tone curve a bit so there's enough contrast and then got to work on actually painting and rendering not having to worry about which colors go where I really recommend gradient maps for anyone like me who struggles with coloring so I'll link a tutorial down below if you're interested in learning how to use them basically as long as your values are clear coloring should be a lot easier um, I feel like thinking of color as value is a really great great way to set you up for a successful painting. And I think I also have a gouache painting coming up on this channel, so that should be fun too. It should be more of like a tutorial, painting tutorial sort of thing. But yeah, a little bit more about this illustration specifically, I definitely wanted to make something more environment focused since I'm dealing with more perspective things and more technical art skills. So I built like a perspective grid out in Procreate and then I put it in to clip studio but this illustration is mainly just like a fun illustration of uh me and steven uh baking together and just this colorful baking scene with this like unrealistically huge cake that we made and steven's incredibly strong wrist holding up the cake he can actually do that in real life guys like no joke but yeah this it was just a really fun piece to work on and i'll be showing the process of this piece throughout this video as we bake so this piece was mainly just a fun way of getting back into perspective drawing and more environment drawing because because that's what i want to focus on with my art and creating more finished pieces and i just wanted to have a fun subject matter to focus on as I do the harder task of drawing and painting environments. I, I think if you like make the subject really interesting and fun, it's a lot easier to finish something, especially when it's something, especially when you're not as good at something. Like if, say if you're like trying to learn like a song on the guitar and the song was actually quite difficult, but you really love the song, there's more of like a motivation and a passion to get through it. And I think that ties back to the, the whole challenge thing. I feel like if you have a really solid idea or a really solid like passion on what you're focusing on through that month you're doing like oc tober and you really love creating artwork about your ocs it'd be way easier completing the challenge and doing that daily art or weekly art challenge because you love it so much so there's a lot less motivation needed to complete it i feel like as long as you make it realistic and fun for you to do and enjoyable and you don't feel like you're just participating in a challenge just to hop on a trend i feel like 
if you really have a meaning with what you're creating, it's a lot easier to create and maybe ahead of time planning out ideas and concepts that you want to draw based on like a specific thing you want to focus. I feel like that's the best uh, plan of action when approaching a drawing challenge. Definitely let me know what you guys plan on doing if you're doing anything as an art challenge for the month of October. I know that a lot of people do Inktober, Drawtober, or create their own prompts and themes. I'd be really interested to hear what you guys are working on, but I feel like doing an art challenge is really great to improve your skills or allow yourself to focus on something for a like, consecutive like amount of days and can really like bring a focus to your art if you've been feeling lost and just build a great daily or weekly drawing habit if you don't have that already. So definitely recommend doing an art challenge, it, but it does depend on what that challenge is because you want to make sure that it's doable, challenges you maybe a little bit, but doesn't cause you to burn out. So yeah, be careful about that. But yeah, this illustration is just a simple way to get back into more fully finished uh, environmental uh, digital painting. So, so I hope you guys enjoy watching the process as I continue this as I continue this art challenge discussion with Steve. Are you planning on doing a uh, drawing challenge or like an Inktober. Inktober? The last time I did an Inktober, I did an Inktober last time, and it was probably when I was still in high school. Okay. And I remember I didn't want to do it like once a day, so I ended up at the end of the month doing like one. It was a small illustration, but it was like all the prompts just shoved into like it was a food one. Wait, um, is it that little, little drawing? Yeah, it's the really little one yes. on my bulletin board. That was like, I don't know, maybe like 15 of the prompts. So I just couldn't commit to like the daily one. But I like the drawtobers since then that are um, like on a weekly basis. Yeah. Or like, oh, do a couple a week. Those seem a lot more feasible for yeah. me to do. It's intimidating to be like, oh, I want to make one finished piece a day. It's but that was my own unrealistic expectation. Like I could do an unfinished piece a day. Mm -hmm. What are you going to say? It's a lot of like cre creative energy output like yes. constantly. And it's a different direction each yeah. day basically. Unless, I mean, the prompts are all themed around the same thing. Like the Drawtobers will be like, oh, this is a mermaid themed thing exclusively. So you're in mm -hmm. the same like, you know, wavelength for yeah. each day. Wave. But Inktober, wave, heat waves. <laughs> <laughs> what was I gonna say? Sorry. <laughs> no, I thought about it. it was something like staying in the same realm of like prompts of like okay, these are all related to one thing. It's yeah. a lot easier for me than what the traditional Inktober was, which is yeah. like different. It'll be like oh, a piece and chicken, like just it's two really different concepts. Sometimes yeah. Sometimes as well. So it's like switching gears every single day. Mm -hmm. That's what I remember. It like maybe it's different now. I don't know. I liked all the ones that were like yeah. fan made or just, you know, mm -hmm. casual. They were more feasible time wise and then more interesting to me, yeah. like prompt wise. So I like seeking out mm -hmm. those ones. And I feel like if you have like a theme, I feel like part of the issue, at least for me, is figuring out what to draw mm -hmm. and like constantly having to either like pull up references or like do any of that. But I feel like if you have a theme, you can like go into Pinterest. Pinterest yeah. and like make a whole mood board or look up that prompt word and be like, oh, here's the different things that are associated mm -hmm. with that word. Exactly. Yeah. And then you can have like a whole like visual library of things to pull from the whole month. I might mm -hmm. actually do that. That sounds great. I've been thinking about doing like some, of course, with Bill and Saul. Mm -hmm. I also want to like do other things. So I don't just want to like corner myself. So I'm trying to find like a common theme. I could do, I'm not sure. There's, I've seen, okay, so there's the nice theme ones where it's like, oh, this is specifically autumnal or this yes. one's like spooky, like those different um, like themes. But there are also just plain old like OC Tobers where it's like, these yeah. are specific positions or like poses and gestures to put those characters in. That sounds so fun. So that gives you a lot more flexibility too, to be like, okay, mm -hmm. I know which two characters I'm putting in. It'd be Bill and Saul. Yes. Or like other people in the universe. Mm -hmm. uh, Grenache. Grenache. That would be cool. Yeah, but then you could just, you know, fit that prompt into your own mm -hmm. OCs, like context, what story they're in. So that's a good cool. idea. And you've been wanting to do more fig figurative stuff. So yeah. that's like figure practice, well, their whole bodies. I don't know if I actually, okay, last year I did Drawtober mm -hmm. or it was more like Sketchtober because it was like really rough, mm -hmm. just ideas like every single day. I, I really want to like actually do Inktober. I don't know if it'd be like maybe like digital inking or mm -hmm. um, like in my sketchbook because I really want to focus on line and having like really like more clean mm -hmm. looking work. But it's, I love color so much. Mm -hmm. I just want to like, so maybe like a couple of days, just like throw in some like basic like flat colors or something mm -hmm. like that. I don't know. There's but, colored ink. There's no one telling yeah, you right. can't color a line piece. I kind of want like the pieces to all look 
like they're like yeah, yeah from the same vein yeah. so then maybe i can make like a or little give yourself a palette or something like yes limit yourself yeah but you were able to choose the palette exactly like, then they'll still all look like mm -hmm. orange red brown i'm gonna burn <laughs> yeah maybe uh, pop in like a. <coughs> i'm trying to think of something that would look good maybe like a teal or something something cool to kind of like purple goes purple. well with like the oranges of mm -hmm. a, like spooky season. Mm -hmm. Boy. I'm thinking a lot of warm colors, but just thinking of like a singular like cool. Because cool. you can have like warm purples and warm blues, but I'm yeah. thinking like really cold. cool. One. Yeah. yeah. A cool green cool foliage green. that hasn't quite turned into yeah. autumn yet. The like the into, transitioning. Into, yeah. The gra the great gradation grady. The it's pretty much the degradation of a leaf because after that point it's gonna fall off of the tree once it's degraded. fifty shades of green, <laughs> fifty shades of fall. Of fall. Write that down. Write that down. Write that down. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> For this season, you have to write it right now. Yeah. And then sell it. That reminds me of the fifty shades of gray, but the G R A Y that I was just telling you about. Actual gray. Actual grays. Can't find it on the shelves. Lost right. media. <laughs> yeah, it was a lost. Like I just saw a video essay on that, where it was like just a bunch of lost um, shows or movies. It was like an iceberg of it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. What's other drawing challenges? Because I know there's mermaid. That I do figuary mm -hmm. sometimes. I think there's also plain air April. Plain, yeah. Which I've always wanted to do because I I think it'd be so fun to like paint outside mm -hmm. and do stuff like that. But I don't go outside, so. <laughs> I you got one over right here. <laughs> you know, let's paint the that's same scene. Yeah, this, <laughs> this fence over and over and over again. You'll get really good at painting fences. Just a white fence and then a peak mm -hmm. of my neighbor's house. White fence and then start like, you know, giving an imaginary context. A white mm -hmm. picket fence somewhere else and then mm -hmm. now you've got a whole house somewhere else. Something peeking over the fence. Mm -hmm. I think there's plenty yeah. to build upon. That would be an interesting challenge. Like, the same scene, same setup, or like same... Subject. Yeah, and just... I mean, that was like Different art in general. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That's like, what's that joke? It's like um, someone accidentally recreates Homestuck every like 13 years or something. Yes! Like, yeah. 14? It's going to be me next time. It, I'm going to recreate I'm going to, no, yeah. You're bringing, maybe you're bringing about a revival. Revival yes. cast. Who the, cast? Yeah, the amount of people have jump scared. Mm. But they don't seem mad, so I'm like. Uh, no, it's a pleasant one. Yeah. It's a pleasant surprise, not a jump scare. A part of me wants it's to like, do more art, but the thing with doing fan art and posting it online, people might just follow you for that fan art. Mm -hmm. And it's just like... And be disappointed if they don't see it. Yeah, anything. exactly. I don't think that's always the case though. Like think about the beginnings, like when you were like sharing reels of things yeah. for the very first time and it, you know, was fan art. Hard that's like just getting people's attention, but that doesn't mean that that's their only reason for following. Yeah. Or I would hope that it's not yeah. their like only reason for following. Mm -hmm. so. Cause also it's like, usually when I'm about to follow someone, I look through like their past like 20 posts or something mm -hmm. to see oh did i just follow for like this yeah. one character i like or one specific type of mm -hmm. like painting or something hugh vember that's another yeah. one and then there's like that color wheel challenge that was going around I, it's still going around i think it is yeah and people are like milking the reels content out of that really I've seen, yeah like for each you know part of that color wheel because it's like you know it's a limited palette yeah there's no like turn cherries or anything it's mm -hmm. just like um it'll be a reel for each character of it so it's like Dude. several write pieces that down. <laughs> <laughs> that's on so the reels cool. making list yeah i've seen it um it's just mostly like characters that you like you put a character in that color yeah triangle but it could be anything. It could be like, oh, a bunch of foods that are those colors or a bunch yeah, of plants maybe. that are that color, like make a big wheel of flowers or something. You could do whatever you want with it and then milk it for content. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mind of a master, my business. And that's why you're my unpaid intern. Uh -huh. For ideas like that. I'm paid in unpaid labor, which is making <laughs> the sticky doodles. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Being paid in unpaid labor. <laughs> it's for exposure. Yeah. It's for exposure to Snickerdoodles exclusively. Yeah, because it's not, not even like your work. <laughs> what do you mean? Those are my work. Yeah. I melted that butter. I, right, I, right. I beat that egg. I beat that egg. That is our work. That was a, cl this is a collab. Our work. It's a collab. Comrade. Comrade. Could be it. And that brings us back to the Trixie and Katya conversation that we can't agree on. Yes. I think it's because I haven't watched a lot of their content, to be honest. Like, they're a podcast. Yeah. But and they're so similar, I feel they like are, that's, where, that's that's where it's difficult. So it's we both to... have qualities of both yeah. of them. And I have watched a lot of like both of their like their the bald and beautiful and then the mm, and just like their their independent content. I 
and I still can't like strongly say, oh yeah, you're just like that. But you're well, so profoundly Russian to me that it's. <laughs> I have to say especially that. my outfit. Your outfit. That's what I mean. Not like, like in anything else. Yeah. Just you saying "privet" sounds a little too convincing <laughs> sometimes. My own shed. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> and your Adidas. I wish I like actually like learned Russian or knew Russian. Really? Like, so I could have... just pull it out. Oh, okay. okay. Randomly. I thought you were gonna say for the sake of traveling. But doesn't Katya do that? Like, she, yes, she, she does. Like, randomly... She has like scripted. Like she knows how to speak some certain. I yeah, like dabbled in it. That's all I know. Like previous millions of Shannon. It's just like hello, my name is Shannon. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Introduce the channel that way. Beginning of a video. Yeah, just throw them off. I don't know what welcome to my channel is. I do know the French. We're French people. What would uh Spanish be? Bienvenidos. Welcome to, which welcome channel? to my channel. I don't know how to say my channel. I feel Spanish. like it'd be similar to French, maybe. What's everyone? A todos, like, a todos? I don't know. Soy Shay. <laughs> Soy. <laughs> Estoy. En mi casa. I was gonna say, en mi Con cocina. Tu... Yeah. We're in the kitchen. What's... You're saying you're in the kitchen, yeah. I'm in the kitchen and I'm making snickerdoodles. No, what's uh, Hacer? What's the the yo conjugation? It depends on I'm if you're making... saying like, pa you made or you're making haciendo. haciendo. Dude, I'm like the worst. <laughs> All I have is like, I get with my family saying, but I, I can't make something grammatically sound Bruh. up in my brain. What we need it's is hard. Duolingo. Yes. And we need we oh. need to learn Russian. And yes. I need to learn a, a language and I then, should have learned a I, long time ago. Yeah, and then I need to brush up on French. And then we conquer and the And then world. we can't talk to each other. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we forget English. Yeah, we'll forget process. how to talk to each other. And we'll be like, oh no, we went in the wrong direction. Or in opposite directions. Yes. A little opposite though. Sometimes you'll read things in French and I'll be like, oh, that, that sounds yeah. kind of like, like I could language, deduce yeah. that that was... Yeah, what that word was because of me knowing like, in Spanish. Pool, piscine. Yeah, piscina. piscina. Whoa. Mind of a master. Whoa. We were talking about challenges still. You were talking about a hand challenge, like a. Oh, the, but hands. you know all about that already. Yeah. You did the. Well, you did a hundred faces at one point, didn't you? I had a ridiculous challenge, which was not good or what healthy at all. It was called the a thousand challenge. Oh, okay. A it was. I could. It'd be interesting if I tried it again, because it's just okay. It's basically was a challenge to a lot of people say like. Getting better at drawing and like art in general is a bunch of like effort and drawing like mileage, mm -hmm. just doing a ton of mm -hmm. stuff okay. and just like, I don't know, just constantly making. So it was like a hundred heads, hundred hands, hundred feet, a uh, hundred oh, okay. figures, hundred clothed figures. I missed a finger. A mm -hmm. um, hundred characters, I think. It could be any characters. Hundred environments. What was I thinking? <laughs> that is ridiculous. That almost feels like. But that could mm. be just like simple, like compositions. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. What were you saying? Sorry. Like it just feels like mass production. Like, are you putting uh, as much thought into the intent in each exactly. one? Like, I, I get what you're saying by like mileage, mm -hmm. but I feel like there has to be some sort of like calculated attempt each time for it to actually exactly. do anything in terms of like learning from it. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's still good to what practice. Like, that's not being, you know, excessive. But. but yeah, I think that's like a really good point because I feel like a lot of times with challenges, mm -hmm. when it's like such like heavy volume like that, you get to a point where it's just like, what's the point? What's the purpose yeah, it's of more doing quantitative this? quantitative than qualitative. Yeah. So I feel like when doing a challenge, it's always good to have like, I'm doing this challenge to like, obviously like help myself get better, mm -hmm. hopefully. So you have to have like a purpose or like you're creating like this much artwork to contribute to like a story that you're mm -hmm. working on or fill a sketchbook. Uh -huh. Like different purposes, because I feel like if you just don't have a purpose, then there's or not going to be as motivation right. towards it. And or it won't an be as fun. Goal. Yeah. Cool. And I feel like it's also, it shouldn't be like, I think with the 1000 challenge, I really wanted to approve, but it ended up being a lot of just like mindless copying from photo references mm -hmm. and not really understanding or actively like learning and thinking. And mm -hmm. But it'd be interesting to tackle. I want to see if I can find... Because I remember there was a challenge a couple years ago. I say a couple years ago. It's probably honestly like eight years, <laughs> something like that. Just a couple. Yeah. Just a handful. But someone created a challenge that was like filling this like 300 page sketchbook mm -hmm. or something like that in a month or something. <laughs> wow. And people would do it. But I feel like with that challenge, it would get to the point where it's just like, I'm just like filling pages to fill pages. Mm -hmm. Which there is good merit to that. Like sometimes I'll struggle with not wanting to just kind of like move my hand, like yeah. the motivation to even start mm -hmm. in a sketchbook. So I guess totally. mindlessly doing something is a good way to start thoughtfully doing something. Exactly. That's like a good first step. But to actually learn from a challenge, I guess, yeah, you would need like intent and goals you want to end up achieving. Yeah. 
but also that just there. that takes so much mental energy so like you have to be yeah yeah you know, know what you're signing up for yeah exactly i like this asmr page <laughs> training yes ah here's the start okay mm. so it was a hundred hands hundred feet hundred heads hundred figures hundred expressions so that's specifically focusing on like emotion sure. hundred like clothed figures hundred environments hundred objects hundred animals and a hundred of anything you want and I chose like original character stuff. Okay. So I got like the hands, the feet, the heads, the figures, and the clothed figures. But then the rest. So I got like halfway through it. I got to five hundred. Mm -hmm. Exactly halfway through. But there was no time limit limit either. So I think that also was it because like there was no like pressing deadline. Mm -hmm. But I feel like with this it'd be like a multi month thing. Like mm. maybe like half a year doing that like six months something that like that. That sounds like a class like you might as well be exactly having just given yourself a, um, a mm -hmm. semester worth yeah. of studying just these different areas. But a lot of people like learn on their own and they're self-taught and I think that's what I was doing because I wasn't the high school I went to arts high school but it wasn't the type of art that I wanted to do like illustration and really understanding like composition and like visual development work and stuff like that but it was more like fine art like painting sculpting which like you learn a lot from that as well it's like it's another like tool in your tool belt but it's not necessarily wanted what i wanted to do like as like a career or something like that do you know how long so i see this is the end of the hundred hands how long did that take you from one to a hundred okay like so this is i started okay i started it <laughs> in like mid-september-ish mm -hmm. if i you i could do. not have done that and i probably i could have probably done this in a day i was gonna say yeah okay because what i'm looking at the level of rendering hands. too yeah because yeah. you didn't go like all the way yeah. like, okay let me fully render this now this is doable but i can see where so this is hands and feet we're going to clothe figures would take a lot more yeah. time especially a hundred of them exactly uh, but like if you were doing a gesture of them that wouldn't mm -hmm. take as long as doing like a full rendering of them I so. think for me now, instead of just like copying from images, mm -hmm. it might be maybe doing like the first 20 hands from like references or something. But mm -hmm. then the, the rest would be trying to figure it out from my own mind. So I can really try and pick my brain and see if I understand the mm -hmm. structure and, and all compare that. them. Yeah. Cause like, it's kind of like when you study in a language, like you can like know the vocabulary and be able to like mimic and copy or understand and, through yeah and else. understand but coming up with your own words and your own sentences and the grammar. Yeah. is a lot more difficult so i think it's like sort of like that mm. obviously i think if i like did this challenge probably the animals maybe the objects wouldn't be from memory mm -hmm. unless like i was familiar with them or i do like a couple sketches from reference and then like a couple from memory or e even the environments too because that, that's mm -hmm. i'm not very strong with that i feel like it's really um if you're just doing figure drawing it's really, you can get to 100 really quickly if you're just doing like gestures, like mm -hmm. what I'm looking at right now. The 1000 challenge. And I had people like, when I posted the sketchbook tour, they like commented about it. Asking about that challenge? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, I didn't finish it, but if you want to be crazy, go ahead and do it. You got halfway through. Give yourself yeah. credit for 500, like. Yeah. It'd be so cool what? to revisit. It'd be a cool, like, if I have like a drawing day, like take the morning and that could be my warm up, doing mm -hmm. like, Working on the challenge, yep. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Giving yourself, uh, like spacing it out yeah. would be in your favor. And then like, that's also more conducive to learning, I think, because it allows your brain to kind of like sit with it mm -hmm. and not just like blast through a ton of things. Right, if you're doing 101 day, you have nothing else to compare to. Exactly. Like you've already blasted through that part of the challenge. Yeah. You didn't really challenge yourself in that exactly. circumstance. So. Yeah, spacing it in. Right. Like I said in the beginning, you want to like turn that challenge into something that is goal oriented. Yes. And also if like this is for you, similar to a semester or yep. and that wouldn't be all in one day, you would be doing that. And to actually like learn from it. Exactly, yeah. 231. The cookies. So it's chilled. Yes, the cookies. <gasps> the snicker okay, Let's go do the cookies. <laughs> so we could do nine, nine on each tray. So three, 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 yep, three, yep, three, yep. three, 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 three. Math. It's like a Minecraft square. We are crafting today. We're crafting. I just like silently showed it and was pretty like <sighs> Don't we measure with our heart? We do. So it says first to just like scoop them out. Scoop. You look like Freddy Fazbear. The scooping room. The scooping room. You are in the scooping room. <laughs> that worked way better than I thought. Oh, I was excited. Look how perfectly we're up in it. <laughs> do cookie POV. This is pinching with Babish's angle. Wait, wait, I'll like Hello guys, welcome back to <laughs> 
Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Binging with Babish. With We're making snickerdoodles. I'm actually binging with Babish's new channel. Yeah, because you're, you're wearing black. It's like an apportioned amount for Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a professional technique. <laughs> kind of on brand. This is the fall, which is also spooky season. We're just Frankensteining these <gasps> together. Yes. Might never mess your mind. You know what'd be cute? My mm. mom used to have like these eyeball sprinkles. <laughs> that would be with really eyeballs cute. Eyeballs in them. Give them faces. Oh my gosh, Play Doh. They may actually eat. Well, maybe not yet. If you're brave enough, Play-Doh is something yeah. you can eat. That is so unsafe to tell to freaking. Guys, eat Play-Doh. Eat Play-Doh. It's so I know what yummy. It, do you know it's what it salty. tastes like? Yeah, it's salty. I was about to say, do you know what it tastes like? You'd only know if you tried it. Salty. It is really salty, yeah. It's got a little tang. It's not bad. Tang? I put yeah. um, tiny like on Like acidic, my... like you're shit oh, yeah. eating. <laughs> it's a little bit of a, when you're eating plastic, there's, some, there's a bite to this one. <laughs> like, I feel my insides like disintegrating. <laughs> Maybe there's like a fall kombucha drink. Dude, I don't even know what is kombucha. Okay, all I can think of is the apple cider that has like the mother in it. The apple cider that's serving mother. It's like, what is that? Bacteria. It's just, yeah, bacteria. It's a fermented. What? We gotta look this up. Guys, comment down below. What is, <laughs> what is kombucha? kombucha? That's the next episode. We try and make our own kombucha. Oh my god, we'll make a suspicious stew. Yeah, we just roll it in here. Perfect. Okay, I just mastered my technique with this now. The, the urge to just... <laughs> Cause it'd be so satisfying to see a but my hands are colored in the cinnamon. They're so cute. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, now we put them in the oven. Yay! Bye! What in my kitchen? What? <laughs> what is this? I'm actually like a world class singer, but I kinda like keep on the down low. I'm like, in the video. How's supposed to be in the video? <gasps> really? <laughs> But then I became an artist. Are you saying singers aren't artists? Then I became a visual artist. You see him on stage? <laughs> Visually. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. It was fun doing the cookies. That was my last cameo. Yeah, video, Steve, Steve's no longer going to be in the video. But you were supposed to be in the I video. Was in the video. <laughs> <laughs> she was supposed to be in the video. <laughs> I would. I think that, yeah, that's pr pretty good. <laughs> wow. Brilliant. Show stopping. What's the Lady Gaga thing? Never been done before. Incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same. All right, now we just have to let these cool on the pan for 10 minutes. Yeah, they smell so good. Yeah. Yay! 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 Can I have a touch on the of the Snickers? <laughs> <laughs> Could I please have a touch on the of the clipboard? No. Oh, <laughs> the, the sky. sky. <laughs> the Hannibal can you know that one. Next. And then we'll grab Katie's nose like that. Rush <laughs> the middle. That'd be cool. Also, like getting the Hannibal cookbook and trying to like cook it's stuff like that. It's called Feeding Hannibal. Yes. I've seen it in a Barnes and Noble like three separate times. Yes. And it's never that could be it. our Halloween special. That would be really fun. This it's a, a they have vegetarian uh, recipes too, which Yo. I found like really cute. Because That's his line of being like yeah. nothing on this menu is vegetarian. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. I want to make the the like blood orange blood like what kind congealed of, like, blood. Pink blood. Hey, you have those upstairs okay. neighbors. That are a bit annoying. <laughs> we the have a supply. Players. We have a source. I just need to sharpen my knives again. You crazy. <laughs> this is all a joke. All a joke. Put in asterisks. All a joke. We're not being serious. We're just yolking. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> You're getting none of the ad sense. Okay. <laughs> You're just gonna get a pat on the back. I'm gonna get two snicker noodles yeah. and a pat on the back. Yeah. yeah. That's it. You pick it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, maybe a small one so we're not too hungry. Yeah. Maybe like this. These. This. These are like the same. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, just that cross section. It almost looks like a ginger snap. Yeah. Which are delicious. Oh, you can see like, I can see the sugar crystals on the top since we coated it. Mm. The inside is still soft. Mm. Mm. It definitely has, since pumpkin pie spice has like more of that ginger mm -hmm. taste, it tastes more fall. It does taste more fall. It's not strong. Mm -hmm. It's definitely subtle. Mm -hmm. This with vanilla ice cream though. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Good. My yeah, sister is going to try it. The most important judge, the mother. Mm. It's good. It's kind of like a snickerdoodle. It, it is a snickerdoodle. Snicker <laughs> is it? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> They're pumpkin snickerdoodles. Oh, I thought they were just pumpkin. Oh. <laughs> that means we nailed it. This yes. is exactly yes. like a snickerdoodle. Yes. No, I like it with the <gasps> pretty yeah. nails. Wait. Wow. I'm a hand model. Right? <laughs> yes, we got mom's approval. Yes. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> what is this struggle? It's frozen. I'm kind of like squishing it. Really yeah. Cool. Look at that. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Dink it and sink it. <laughs> Wait, show yours so you can't because yours is prettier. <laughs> wow, beautiful. Dink it and sink it. Wait, lactate. What? Oh. <laughs> This is milk. That is a good call. Hold on. You want to try that one again? Yes. Rewind. Oh, scratch that. Reverse. Yes. Yeah. Nope. Scratch that. Reverse. Okay. <laughs> Dink it. Sink it. <laughs> mm hmm. Yo. It kind of looks like an oatmeal cream pie. Kind of tastes like it too, or honestly. Like a giant macaron. <laughs> yeah. This is really good. <laughs> <laughs> the ice cream brings a whole nother yeah. level. This is really good. Mm. <laughs> so good. It's so good. Wow. <laughs> it's great working with you. Finish product. Very delicious. That's the end of the video. I wish I could have shared the cookies with you guys. So I'll add the link to the re cookie recipe down below. So if you guys want to try them out, they'll be down there. They were really great, especially with the ice cream. Oh, they were so good with the ice cream. I wish I was eating them now as I was recording. But if you made it this far in the video, make sure to comment down below if you plan on doing any October art challenges or what you want your art to focus on for the month of October. I'd love to hear. I hope you guys like this new draw with me style of like baking and art conversations. It was really fun to make and edit and i'm hoping to make another one next month hopefully steve and i are thinking about like a thinking about like an acorn soup maybe doing some like squash or like gourd inspired art that could be really fun but make sure to like and subscribe for more art content check out the shop for all the new stickers prints and new memberships for more art and exclusive content i'm also pretty active on instagram with some art so art that i don't show on here so make sure to follow me there for more art and shop things but yeah hope you guys have a great start of the month drink some water and go make some art bye my name's tomato